Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Carrier Battles by Avalon Digital. I must say, this is paid content, paid in the fact that I get to keep my life. No, there really is no payment here. I just received a copy, and I thought, you know, I might as well take a look at it. Uh, this is going to be a first impressions, if I can go ahead and take a look over here. Uh, five minutes is kind of me actually uh, just having the game open in the background and having to sort out the audio. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and give it a go. Oh, we have something about rules, though. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at that. Uh, we'll figure it out pretty quick. Let's go ahead, man. So we have Naval Search, First Battle, Wake. We'll go ahead and we'll get right into something. We'll take a look at it uh, to begin with then, shall we? Uh, we do have a couple here. Revenge Rage, Coral Sea, Midway, Operation Watchtower, Eastern Solomon, Santa Cruz Island, Guadalcanal, Operation K, uh, Bismarck Sea, and the End of Rabal. The US will attempt to land at Bougainville. And to strike at Rambal. I will take a look at Wake. A few days after the attack of Pearl Harbor, the Japanese invade in Wake Island. Uh, Wake is strategically located and appeared to be more difficult to grab than expected. Yeah, I can feel that one. And the IGN detached carriers on the way back from Pearl Harbor, whereas the Pacific Fleet is trying to send a relief task force along with a raiding carrier task force against Japanese positions in the Marsh Islands. This could have been the very first carrier battle of the war. Uh, so we can play US, we can play Japanese, we're going to play Japanese. We're going to go ahead and take a look at it then. Uh, nice picture there at Wake. Right, so, scenario information. A few days, yes, so we just read that. Japanese Task Force uh, 4 cannot move before day 3. It represents various types of boats operating in the Marsh Islands and are, very, and are easy prey for US uh, carrier vessels. The VP awarded for TRS losses is higher than usual. A reduced wakes, defences, and invaded. Watch out, US raids against your merchant fleet in the Marsh Islands. Okay, so watch out for those. Okay, so, consult a log of important events, okay, so keep your TRS transports, perhaps, uh, and see if you're far away from any service forces, okay. So we have Kwajalein, Kwajalein here, I can never remember how you say it. Uh, so, I, right, let's see, you can narrow the focus and direction of your search, but I don't believe I have, uh, oh no, we do have some aircraft. Okay, so we have some G3s, we have 50 of these bad boys, we have uh, 16 A5M4s, which is okay. Uh, so let's take a look then. So right click the counter information. Uh, right, yeah, units count all videos. Each counter stands for uh, four planes, ruggedness, ability to survive. Okay, air sea factor. Uh, right, okay, so I have nine counters. Right, let's see. Uh, we're going to have to have some of these on search. So that's 360 and that's 360. Can I actually... Let's see. Right, fast search. Scare planes move two hex as a phase instead of one privilege speed over privilege and speed over detection. Interesting. As we can choose actually where to deploy them. Let's see, back to main menu. Right, let's take a look at the map. Oh, quite like the look at the map actually. So we have the Marshall Islands over here, named after yours truly. I like this actually, I like the look at the actual tiles here, I like that it's not just static, it's quite nice. I like the music, it is going to be heavily, heavily copyrighted, but hey. Uh, I, I, I'm sure you guys will not mind. As we have Wake Island over here, <laughs> it's quite good. It feels like you're leaning over and you're like, whoosh. It's like, uh, it's like bungee jumping, isn't it? Is it bungee jumping? Yeah, you know when they jump off. I can imagine it'd be something like that. Right, okay, so Pearl Harbor would be in this direction over here. We said we have a very nice deck in. We have the Gilberts and Lee's Islands over here. I like in the clouds and that. It's quite nice, actually. Uh, so we'll take a look at our forces. So, let's see. So we have Kajalane over here. So let's see then. And uh, these forces can't be moved down to what state. So we have Katori, uh, Suzuka, Suzuya Kaze. Can't see the name of that one there. Right, then we do have Aobe, Kinikusa, Panataka, Kakao, Yugane. A couple more destroyers over here I can't see right now. Transports, I'm assuming. Right. Okay, so that's the airfield here. KK. Right. So, conduct the naval moves then. Okay, whoa, I did not mean to do that. Well, apparently that's how we move them. Well, I didn't mean to move them like so, but we'll roll with it. Okay. Let's see. It appears that we do have aircraft aboard here, so they're all... Uh, well, actually, I can undo that move then. Okay, that's good. Uh, can we use the direction arrows? Yes, we can. Uh, let's go ahead and read that message once again. Keep your TRS and CV far away from the enemy force. Okay. So, uh, let's go... Uh, let's go back. 
I had a message and I about something. Uh... Okay. Naval units. Right, search coverage. That's quite nice. We can actually see that. I conduct air operations of the carriers on land bases. Okay. Uh, we did have something about, like, keeping them away. Is it in this one here? Ah, here we go. Uh, Japanese Task Force uh, 4 cannot move in day 3, before day 3. Right. So, which is Task Force TG42? Which one is this one? Uh, task Group 4, perhaps? Task Group... I'm going to assume that that is potentially 4, 4.1, 4.3... We have 10.2 and 4.2. So I assume task group uh, 4, uh, 1 through 3 cannot move. We have over here then task group 10.1. So this is led by the Light Cruiser Tenyu Tatsuta Yabare, uh, the destroyed Oite, Motsuki Yayoi, Okazuki Hayate, Kisagi, Kisagiri, Kisagiri, God, I can't pronounce that, Kongomaru. <laughs> oh yes, <laughs> I'm quite intimate with these guys. <laughs> right, so let's go ahead and take a look then. Let's get a stock. So, do we have our carriers in position as of yet? I don't imagine they would be in position as of yet, perhaps. Uh, what we potentially do then is launch an airstrike from Kwajalein. I do want to have some search. That's going to be absolutely critical here. As we'll go ahead and take a look at the actual air operations over here. As we have the 85s. The 85s are not going to have the range there. I assume this is the fuel, so yes. Uh, limited fuel supply each... Launch unit burns one fuel. Okay, so what do we have here then? Move units one by one, move units, right, move units one by one. So, what I'm going to do then is put some of these guys in this surge. 80 minutes is intriguing. Right, let's see. So, the timer to view the air units in preparation for this mission when time has elapsed at the phase. Air units are placed in corresponding surge bolts. I call it part one starter evolve around the air base of the map. Oh, quite like this. But do uh, a strike really doesn't matter to me. I do want to keep some in reserve here so we can actually have some uh, ability to rest and recover them. Right, okay. Cap is. I'll just have two there. I don't think we want. I don't think we need bother with the combat air patrol as such. I don't think there's going to be particularly any sort of threat to us at this moment in time. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at the actual map then. Right, I'm going to go ahead and take a look at this search. Not seeing it right now, so I don't imagine it's actually ready as of yet. Uh, so currently it's an A360. Uh, what I want to be doing then is north. Right. Okay, autopilot. A task force will automatically move towards its program destination at the end of the turn. Uh, but 4.1, 4.2 and 4.3 can't. They have to remain in position, is what we are told, I believe. Right, engagement tactics. Okay, so this is like the ratio of like how, essentially like how much you want to outnumber your foe there. They will move out. I could move them myself if I wanted to. So they would move at 6. It's now 4am. I think it's 4 a.m. So each turn is 1 hour and 20 minutes. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely going to be copyrighted with this music now. <laughs> okay. Well, let's take a look then. Can they be moved? They could be. Right, that's about it. Okay. Hmm. Right. Right, so move an hour, perhaps? Okay. So now it has advanced here. Let's take a look then. So we have 20 minutes left for these guys to go into their search. 20 minutes over here before they conduct their cap. We still have some G3Ms in reserve. G3s, uh, yes, yeah, so there'll be the G3M2s there. I've still got uh, 12, is it 4? So there's still 12 in reserve here. Uh, still got a good number of actual A5M4s there. 
Okay. My mouse has been a little bit weird. Okay, so I can make a move here. Make a move, make a move, make a move. Ooh, ooh. Can't move right now. Let's take a look at the actual engagement priorities then. So, at the moment, it's set to one-to-one. -one. In case the enemy naval attack on this task force, or when this task force uses autopilot to move an enemy hex. So, two to one odds. Yeah, we'll go for two to one. Unless they outnumber them, do not bother. Right, so we're going to have another hour go by. Oh, that's nice. Looks like we are now in daytime. So this, I believe, would be the actual naval search. You can see... Ah, that's interesting. So we actually do have the float planes aboard here. Interesting. Uh, looks like they're being launched by the King Roo Maru. Line cruiser. Uh, I would have assumed that the light cruisers here would have actually had... No, they might not have actually had a float plane. So they're still on autopilot. But that's interesting. So we are searching out this way. We have 360 search here. I could... T I'm going to have to tell them to go in a different direction, in fact. I do wonder if I can actually change the direction of that at this moment in time. Um... I think I can't have them brought back at this moment in time. Can I have them return? No, they'll, they'll return in the near future then, really. Okay, well, we've learned a lesson there. Okay. So I'm going to advance another hour. Right, so you can see the search is out here now. Ah, so what we'd want to probably do then is have it in, like... Waves, really, like impulses. That's really rather intriguing. Okay, well, we can keep the G3s available then. Uh, so let's see then. Uh, right. End of turn. Okay, and I can't move as of yet. Four actions, okay. Go a little bit further. Okay. And once again. Right, so I do have a move now. It's now 8am, I assume. As we do have some foul weather over this way. So we are searching here. Obviously, it would have been better had I uh, <laughs> set them to, like, north. Yeah, like, yeah. Hmm. Uh, oh, well. Northeast has been quite good right now. Oh well. They'll figure it out. What I can do is obviously change it in the future, perhaps. That's a lesson learned. A lesson you guys learned as well. Right. Ah. Continue moving then. Conduct naval moves. Okay. Oh, so these are now moving. Oh, are they moving? That looks to be another search patrol. If I turn that off, obviously that makes it easier. Right. I think I might actually have a craft over here at Maloa. Uh Just A5 and 4, so I'm going to set some of them to cap. Uh, can I transfer aircraft, actually, from... here to Kajalane? Can I do that? Malawa. Hmm. Whoa. Apologies about that, guys. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so we'll have to make do with that then. Selective friendly airfield to protect with long range cap. Don't need to do that. Uh, I'd like to get them to move, but I'm have to, I'll have to figure out how to do that in the future. I imagine you can do it. I would be surprised if you couldn't. Hmm. Nonetheless, we'll continue. As you can see, our search is moving out there. 
had we had it more focused, that would have been better, but uh, hey-ho, we never know. <laughs> we'll see. A lot too far out now from arriving at the destination of Wake. Um, okay. Keep things rolling. I mean, we could advance time a little bit faster, but I'd like to have it at an hour. Uh, we'll get a good amount of control then over our forces here. I mean, it's, it's pretty, like, logical. You can imagine they're not making that much progress on an hour. Okay, so we do have a section over here, then. It looks like, apparently, enemy carrier forces over here. Position 940. Okay. So, it looks like they have been picked up by uh, GG3 Naval Search, actually coming out from Kwajalein, perhaps. Okay. So we do have our intelligence over here. Right, that's good information. We do have some distance between us and the Canada group over here. Now, what we're going to have to do then is go ahead and deploy our forces here. So I'm going to potentially put some more uh, into our cap here. It's going to take 40 minutes for them to arrive. In fact, do I want to do that? Mm. Can't rescind that at this moment in time. Right. Put some on cap here. I'm not going to launch a strike because I don't think it's worthwhile, but what I will do is, let's see, I will launch another naval surge. Okay. There are some pretty, uh, pretty <laughs> dangerous positions there. And I could run long-range combat air patrol over them, and that might be required. Uh, what I'm going to do here then as a Quadrilane is I'm going to get some more A5s into the air. Uh, we'll have another free there. Over here, right now, we're in the search here. So, I'm going to need... Right, they're getting ready. We'll give it a little bit longer then. Oh, they can move. Okay, well, we'll get them moving out of the way then. Okay. So, do you see our A5M4s over here running cap? Okay. Might be a little bit premature, but we'll see. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna adjust the game now. We're gonna hang in the game now. Looks like we'll have another G three wave arriving over there shortly. Uh, our aircraft will be airborne pretty shortly. Okay. Yes, we'll be airborne shortly. I can't believe as of yet. Are they now active? Oh, no, that is the start of a new search. Okay. Again, on 360, obviously, in the future, I would change that. But I can't change it as of this moment. Right, so they're going to be over here. Let's see. Mallow up. Right. Okay. Number of uh, hexes it can fly. Okay. I'm going to have them made ready. They can't move right now. They can't move right now. They can't move either. So continue time. Okay, so it looks like we'll have some ideal information over here. Uh, position has been updated 940. We have a second wave coming out soon. Right. Uh, they're still stationary at this moment in time, due to the fact that we do not have enough time elapsed to move as of yet. Right, they are moving. They, they look like they're moving this way. Right. So, pretty westerly, really. Uh, that's interesting. So, obviously, what we'll have to do, then, is really take a uh, good consideration for our forces over here. We could potentially move this way. Take advantage of that. Uh, we'll keep a check on their progress here, as much as we can. Right, intelligence gain, enemy fighters, oh, right, okay, so we had a G3M destroyed, but it seems, okay, so gotta keep them away, because it looks like they did shoot us down over here then, it seems, a G3 perhaps, does that indicate their travel direction, perhaps, possibly, okay, move over there, the sooner, the sooner we get to wake, the better, really. Got to move as quickly as possible there. Okay. Will they return to... 
to there. So we had one group shot down. Oh, okay, so I can tell them to return. Right, tell them to return. But I can't tell them... Oh, I can't tell them to return. There we go, so we're going to have them return. Uh, what I'll do then is have another one launched in... 40-odd minutes. The reason why we're doing this is just so we can kind of keep an idea of where they are. As much as really possible. So let's see, I can go three hours, but I'm going to keep an hour out of time. I'm enjoying this actually. It's quite nice, actually. Right, let's see. Intelligence gained. Right, okay, so one to two here at 12.40. Interesting. So the position has been updated. It looks as if they're still moving that way. Keep a track on that. They're not a slow task force by any means, so we will have to get our asses in gear. Right. Looks like they're sending out another naval, say, uh, naval search. Enemy fighter destroyed another G3 there, fortunately. Uh, that's fine. Their sacrifice will be... So that's two carriers and ten? I think that's ten. I'm going to have to get close to the screen here. Yes, that's ten. <laughs> that's a little bit hard to see though. They're like black and the dark blue. Okay. Keep moving now. Not far from Wake. Looks like they're moving this way now. So they're moving straight west. Okay. They can't move as of yet anyway, so there's not much I can do about that. And uh, they're on their way back. Right, have them retire. Try and get them back. Recovered then. Right. Nearly there. So you can see that search wave come in. It looks like these ones are returning, in fact. Let's see, does that come back? Yes, it is. Okay, so that gives us some potential information there. It looks like this white one might actually indicate that those aircraft have been potentially destroyed. So let's see. Mallow app. Uh, still waiting for them to return. R and R. Right. There we go. Keep moving and grooving. Right, enemy scout spotted over task group 4.1, which is SPD Dauntlesses. So 4.1 is over here. So they're in a tricky position. Uh, what I could potentially do is actually launch some fighters from Kwajalein if they can actually make it out there. I'd imagine they could, yes, they should be able to do that. So Kwajalein, let's get some A5 and 4s into the air. I can't get them orders as of yet. Get them to do some long range combat, uh, combat air patrol. Right, I have them over here. What I can do is actually tell them to run cap over here for the time being. Land. Right, okay, safe return base. Okay, land, no. Mission combat air patrol, use a different uh, turn. Well, me when planes are landing. Uh, mallow up. Uh, oh, no, yes, there. Oh, so I can actually have them return to a different base. Okay, start of protection. Okay. Uh, do you have enough? Right, choose number of air units to send. Just one will be... Uh, just say just the one for the time being, then. Get them moving. They're still not able to be moved yet. Yeah, they're closing. So they're likely going to attack over here, but we do have a cap mission flying out over here, so Japanese air. Okay. But we are so very close now to wake. Okay. Now, I could launch a uh, strike, perhaps, but I will I will have to wait for them to close in. Um, it, it is a pretty big, like, uh, risk, essentially. It's four, okay. Hmm. Let's see, if they draw closer, I might be able to contemplate a strike. We do have some poor weather over here right now. It's now 5 o'clock. It's not too long until night, really, perhaps. 
I was going to have to see what time we reach that, but we'll see. We'll likely arrive here and wait shortly. Uh, looks like we will arrive here. Right, it says check, detach, uh, which is interesting. In fact, I could actually launch some service forces to defend us. So we've moved over here then. Okay, so I think this is how we will attack, I assume. They can continue moving this way. Shortly, anyway. Right, there's poor weather over here right now. It's now 520 we're running cap over here. They can move, so move that way. The US carriers are currently under uh, some heavy weather there. Okay. Right. Right click. Okay. It says coastal defense. Okay. I'm sure they're on load. We do have a second wave on the way. Okay, some information here. One air unit is landing at Malawap, okay. So, I don't have combat air patrol over here for the time being. Um, let's see, I could launch a strike out, but it's now 620. Uh, might be worthwhile, but I don't know what our chances are of succeeding there. What I'll do then is run a long range combat air patrol, so there's not enough endurance, okay, so they're not going to be able to make it there. Uh, so, bugger that one, that's not going to happen. From Malawap, I could potentially do that. I will send one out there once again. What I'm going to do, though, is I think we will give it a go with a strike, but then, I don't know. It's one of these of, like, will they actually have the opportunity to come in there? Right. Yeah, I mean, that's only four planes. That's a very light strike. It's not going to have any real teeth to it. And we can wait for our forces to arrive. I mean, we're going to have a good number returning here. What I'm going to do is actually ready another search mission. We'll go with that. So we do have our A5M4s moving out there. Right. Uh, right, okay. So, coastal defences are engaging from Wake. Uh, we do have Yoite hit by one shell, one main turret destroyed there. Congo Maru has been hit by a shell. She has an oil leak at this moment in time. Uh, but that's fine. Things are going ahead. Right. So if we take a look over here at damage then. A fire reduced by five. Right, oil leak. But she doesn't need to go anywhere. If we capture the island, she she can't be left there. That's all that matters is capturing Wake. Right, it is now 720. It looks like the American carriers are actually uh heading heading back. Nope, changing their direction there. Let's see. It's now night. So we're unloading here at night. We have the coastal defenses over here. Okay. Uh, so this task force has bombarded one air unit. Has been hit, then that's good. Right, it's nearly day two now. Very interesting game. Right, they can remain there. Let's take stock of our air. Yeah, they just need to recover at this moment in time. Preparation. Bring them back in here. Right. Okay, so I can't do anything right now. Uh, that's fine. Gives them some time to recover. Also, we'll get them out as soon as we can. I can continue there. Time going very quickly right now. So coastal defense is engaging as well. Oops, not that. Uh, one point of cargo destroyed there. Okay, torpedo explosion. Whoosh. Yeah, Yoi is not doing well there. I like the granularity of detail. Damage. Okay. Oh yes, you can move. Ten twenty, ten forty. Coastal defenses there. Transports uh, unloading has been completed. Right. So it's handed to an eight. 
Tatsuta. Right, so we've taken a few hits there. So, let's see, messages. So that's 10.1 has finished loading there. Unloading, I should say. Uh, so what we can do then is we can actually get them moving out of here shortly enough. 11 p.m. 11.20. 11 11.40. 12. Oh, we see uh, to the north of here, the Kariosoro and Hiro has arrived with the Tane Archikuma Omikaze Tanakaze. Excellent news. Right. Now, the interesting thing is we do have two... Uh, these are nice carriers, do not get me wrong. Hangar capacity, number of air units. Let's take a look. <laughs> I like this picture. Okay, so that is Soru. Here. So, we do have a decent number of actual A5s. Sorry, no, uh, A672s there. Uh, we do also have some D3A1 valves. We have the B5N2 Kates. Uh, what we're going to have to do here, then, is I'm going to use the D3A1 on uh, Surge. Okay. Hmm. Privilege, uh, privilege and speed. <sighs> have him look towards the southeast there, really. Though saying that, I don't think... Well, actually, no, it is always best to have something there. Hmm. Whoops. Is that west? There we go. East is what I'm looking for, then. 180 to 40. Uh, 120 sounds about all right. Go for fast search, just to get something out there. Do the same with Hiru. <laughs> I love that. Operations proceed optimally. Interesting. No operation is allowed, no launch until dawn. Ah, uh, so there's no launch until dawn anyhow. That's fine. So they return to base then. RTB. Okay. Hmm. 1 a.m. Have they finished unloading though? That's the thing. Uh, down for portion. They're taking some hits there. <laughs> They're definitely taking some hits. Yeah, they continue to move. Okay. Looks like they've returned to truck. Now day two. Right, so it seems like um, they can return then. So we'll have them an autopilot. It's a destination for their autopilot. Where are they heading? Well, let's see. Ooh, not that. Where are you heading? Alright, good luck to our forces there. It would be nice to know a little bit more information about that. Uh, what I could do is actually have them link up with the carriers, and I would like to do that. Uh, your damage, I believe. Uh, propulsion has been restored aboard the Tatsuta. Right now we need to launch some uh, missions here. Okay. 
keep a cap running over here. Escort bombs. No, just, just keep a cap. Right. Northwest. Send two. No, just one for the time being. Flare cap for the time being. We need to get an idea where the enemy is. I think a little head there now. 2146. Is that 2146? I don't even know how you tell what the heck it is. I probably tell you in fairness. 2146, yeah. So they're currently overcast here. I'm going to continue to move towards the clouds over here, in fact. Okay. Right, so we have the proper search coming out now this time. As you can see there, that's good news. Okay. So we have the carriers launching their own search there. We have search coming out of Quadrilane now. Let's see. Enemy scout spotted. Okay, SPDs. So we're going to have to launch from Malawap over there. I'm going to put another one into the air now. Uh, I'm going to put an A5M4 out at Quadrilane for protection. And we can start to contemplate a strike in the near future, in fact. Okay. Right, okay, so we do detect the enemy over here, then. We can contemplate a strike. A strike could be very uh, interesting, in fact. Intelligence gain. Interesting. Now, I could potentially hold my... Hold off. 640. Depends on their direction of travel. Launch more. And I could do that. And it might be potentially worthwhile. Uh, I normally wouldn't probably do this, but I'll give it a go for the time being. What does that mean? So if I got to choose... Right. Planes are not equipped to do any damage yet. Obviously, I'll put some things in there. Single wave. Hmm. Okay, we'll give it a go. Looks like it'll be launched in about 40 odd minutes. Uh, change the way compact. Okay, well, I like this. So, in auto targeting uh, options. Attacking uh, enemy. Uh, you're just going to concentrate on some tanks. Okay. Even. Uh, compact. Plus two against an operative carrier. Uh, right. Okay, compact sounds good. Sounds good to me. We have our target. Okay. Shocks away. But the good news is uh, we know where the enemy is. For now. 
a little bit of time go by. Right. Enemy scan spotted over time spot spot point two. Oh, point two is over here. Right, okay. Well. I think their flank cap has is. Maybe I'm not doing it right, but we'll see. Okay, we do have an attack over here, it seems. Intelligence. Uh, right, one hex is okay, so let's see. Hmm. They should be... Um, they should be protecting us here, so I'm going to put some more into the area. Okay, yes. That might be how we do it. Give some time to go by. Okay, so we have the air attack over here. So there's only a couple A5M4s. Uh, probably not going to go too well. That's interesting. Bomb in. Okay, so we're taking some damage. Damage. Uh, okay, so we took some damage. I think that strikes a wave though. Right, uh, they're damaged right now. Ah, uh, damn. Some uh, airfields are. Oh, okay. Uh, five. Okay. Not too bad. A US strike has been sectored. 10.3. Interesting. Over here? Oh, that must be coming from Wake. I can sort of some aircraft from the uh, carriers. Okay. Intriguing. So I think my strike is on its way shortly, I think. Okay, so SPD is coming in here. Uh, probably not going to end tremendously well. That suit doesn't want damage, but we'll see. Okay. Coming in there, attacking Mutsuki. Mutsuki took a bomb there. Uh, not super ideal. Ooh, Matsuki goes down, unfortunately. Hit by a bomb, damn. Okay. I don't know what's happening. Oh, hello. Interesting. To see a force out here, then. That's very intriguing, but I do have some A6M2s over there now. Okay. Head south. Ish. Prepare a strike. Have one uh, RTB. Okay. Yes. Okay. Small TRS. Jesus Christ. So do I have my strike one out here? Is this our... Oh, this is our strike over here. Oh, this is going to be a really intriguing change. Okay. Uh, we'll have to hope for the best. Have to hope for the best, but that could be really intriguing. So if we catch right now, that might help us. It might not help us. We'll see how that goes. Right, you can be... 
called? Oh, I like this. Okay. The game looks to be loading. Hopefully it doesn't crash. <laughs> I want to see what happens next. Oh no. Come on. I don't know if there's like an auto save. Um right, we'll launch it again. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Uh we'll we'll see if we can get back there. So I I do want to see what happens with the strike. I wanna see what happens there. It's like a cliffhanger, isn't it? Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. I'm liking the game. Right, let's see. Save games. Yes. I think we got that. I think that's about the time we left off. And that's good, then. Ideally, things work out. We can get right back in there. I think it's loading. <laughs> it's gone quiet. Or is the lead do its thing? And I appreciate the image right now. Uh, of course, the game. <sighs> yeah. Uh, so I believe this is the beta version, so obviously there's still going to be some problems, so this should be sorted out soon enough. Might be just me be being impatient, to be honest. Uh, but I guess we'll call it about that. That's a, that's a shame. It might be just like a little bug there. I'm sure that'll be able to get fixed before the launch of the game, but there we go. I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing... Uh, Carrier Battles. It's been quite good, actually. I've enjoyed it. So, yes, this is Carrier Battles by Avalon Digital. Please do go ahead and check it out. Thank you very much to Avalon Digital for allowing me to take a look at this. Until next time, thank you for watching, and goodbye for now. Maybe you guys would like to see me play some more of this in the future? Do let me know. Adios. Dahika Banzai.